Hello, and welcome to another episode of Football Manager 2014 with Costa Rica, with me, and Burton, the balloon, as you saw in the thumbnail, if you watched the thumbnail last episode, gonna be, it's gonna be an also thumbnail, and it's still here, smiling like a prick, so yeah, uh, as you can see, uh, World Cup group stage draw today, Costa Rica has been placed second part for the draw, so let's get into it, I qualified, I will get into that later, so let's get on to it, I will put... Let's try automatic draw. You know, it has to be a little dramatic here. Okay. Brazil, group A. Uruguay, group B. Belgium, group C. Italy, Italy, group D. Colombia, group E. Germany, F. Group G, Holland. And Spain, nah. Uh, group G, H, Argentina. Group H, Australia. Group B, Costa Rica. Oh, for fuck's sake, we got the Uruguay. Iran. Is, I would want that group actually. Group D, I would be. Is, you, as you can see, you say it's not a push but it would be easier than Uruguay. Though, no, it wouldn't. Cameroon. Uh, because cause I think I beat Uruguay in real life. I forgot that. Peru. Peru qualified. Carrillo, my boy. Is them. Next national team I'm gonna take. Make a play through with is probably them. Turkey. This. That's a group I could get through, actually. Wow. No Korea? Hmm. Korea didn't qualify. South Korea there. Let's see who qualified. Australia, Brazil, Morocco, Portugal, Cameroon. That's... I got a chance. I got a chance to go through there, actually. <coughs> Turkey. Not the best. Cameroon. On a good... Not bad there, I could beat them. They have some really good players, but so do I. Uruguay, in game, probably have the best players. I'm probably gonna struggle most against them, but if I could somehow get a draw against Uruguay, maybe beat Turkey and maybe draw against Cameroon, I could go through. So, yeah. Belgium, France, Ghana, Iran. Burkina Faso. Yeah, the great nation of Burkina Faso. It <coughs> plays like John. Pitor Ba, Alelin Tore. I don't get why these P these countries go through. Well, probably because they're good enough, but you know, they're gonna win the World Cup. But if they do, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I underestimated you. Where the hell is? <coughs> sorry, uh, Ivory Coast. I just need to check where the Ivory Coast are. Qualifiers. Okay, let's um, final. We have why are they they're like the strongest team? I, what was I gonna do? I was gonna check if Bali was there. Who is Bali? What is Bali? Might be uh, Ivorian, but he's sorry. Sorry about that. Something happened, but as you see, I was. It's nice for searching for Martin Matisse for Bali because he's Norwegian, born in Norway. But playing for the Ivory Coast. Yeah, let's get to the Sixers. Didn't lose the game, but yeah, the game is starting to fuck me with the injuries. 3-0 uh, 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 against um, Jamaica. Uh, if you wanted, Burton is still there. Uh, Campbell got two and Salale blah, 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 got one. Then man managed to get a draw. I thought that was going to be a nice because I got the, not the save. With Nothing and Forest, which I recorded, where I uh, in ended up signing a Honduran defender called Luis Alonso. I didn't want to piss the country off my. The, I didn't want to piss him off at such a young age, you know. Just didn't want to, because he's, of course, there in real life, even though he's a region. He's watching Honduras, I don't want him to lose. So I thought it was going to be nice, you know. We then have the US, much get a draw there, 1 1, after Alvaro Sabareao squad. Then we have a 1 0 win against Cuba, which could all. World Cup advancement, I guess. Uh, Saudi was going again. Uh, then we have a home game against Mexico, Mexico, uh, where Campbell scored, and then uh, we have two friendlies against Suriname and Saint Martin, where Saudi scored hat trick in both. Sergio Borges, FF goal legend, not that I support Fredrikstad in any sort of form. I never been there. Probably never will go there. The closest relation I had to Fredrikstad is that. The neighboring city, Sarsborg, is the birthplace of my grandma. 
So yeah, that's a fun little factor, but Sadi will getting six goals adding to his tally and he's only ooh, three games away from getting his one hundred cap for Costa Rica. So the next time me and Bertrand will be with you is at the World Cup. I'm gonna go to Brazil, get a little time. Bertrand is of course gonna come there. Hopefully the plane right there. I might have to walk him there so he the air doesn't go out of, out of him. Maybe should take the boat or something. But who knows? Uh, so yeah, if you liked it, like it. If you didn't, didn't like it, dislike it. As you can see, 188 days and 12 hours until the World Cup start. If you want to follow this or any other thing, or, the, or any other series, video, whatever I do, uh, subscribe. And yeah, from Burton, Burton and me, bye. Uh, I'm back now just for a little while because something I forgot to mention in the video was I got raped by injuries, I mentioned that, and I came with the theory, which I will use a minute to explain now. Uh, there is this Taiwanese, I uh, googled it, there's shark fins, it's illegal in Costa Rica, but you have the Taiwanese Mafia who does this in there, and I'm guessing that the family members of these players are against that, and uh, they're threatened on their life, and on, of course, the football stuff, they say, they, you know, try to stay strong, but then the Mafia goes to wherever they play and break the legs and say the fact that there was injury. Uh, and if it happens in the game, it's of course the Taiwanese Mafia paying them. Clearly, the Taiwanese Mafia is the biggest threat to my World Cup success. So I'm on to you, Wang Xingxiao, leader of the Taiwanese Mafia, I presume. So yeah, that was just a little fun rant from me there. Yeah, and this is the final. Bye.